game cook Kai is often after one for the pot. I need Tabasco. But here in central Finland, he's got the chance of one for the pot and one for the people. Here's the hard heart. The heart is actually quite low, yeah, isn't yeah. it? So if you, if you go for a heart shot, then... We're after a moose and a black grouse, and both with a rifle. In fact, the same rifle. This morning, it's moose, and it's all hands and paws on deck. The elk hounds are crucial for this type of hunt, and the Finns take their dog work seriously. They have a reputation for being serious about everything, but we'd suggest hunting dogs, drinking, rallying, saunas are what they take the most seriously. Jarko is our host, and he wants Kai to put some rounds down range with his Zauer 404 with very large orange bolt handle. No fumbling for that on a cold, wet winter morning. If you decide to shoot bears later on today, we can swap it back and you know, everything's all in one case, so it's quite compact. He's found the best bullet is the lead-free Barnes Vortex. I was just speaking to Jarko and he was saying to me that the, the 9.3 calibre is the most popular calibre for moose, for just going straight through the, through the branches and uh, straight to the target. Not used it before, it'd be quite interesting to see how, how that goes. Yarko and his business partner Matty organise moose hunts for one up to 14 people. The grounds are vast, so more hunters, more chance of shooting a moose. We also have some quality dogs, and from what we can tell, they're the game makers. Plus, Yarko and Matty use high and low tech kit to discover what's about. Low tech is thin cotton threads hung between trees. If it's broken, something big has passed through. High tech offers a bit more detail. This is the bull that Yarko wants Kai to take, and that's where we're heading now. Sounds good. Ready to go. I'm excited. Yarko is constantly juggling phones. It's a modern way of hunting. How much has technology changed moose hunting in the last 10 years? Oh, I can say quite a lot. Yes. In the old times, we just let the dog out. We only have to listen where it starts to bark. Yeah. And then, but now we have all this. Look at the GPS tracking. Yeah, we have the GPS tracking. You can see the dog, the other hunters. Here is our place. So the idea is if these come across moose, then we will nip back and then we will head over to them. Yeah. This uh, dog here is working, is working this area for us yeah. in this location. Yeah. Okay. On the app itself, you can see the dogs and their patterns and the way they're moving. And these guys can tell when it's on the, the scent of a moose. It counts how many barks the dog's doing. So the dog shouldn't bark until it comes up to a moose. So as soon as you can see the barks per minute ramps up, then you know the dog is on a moose. So we're literally just sitting there just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this kind of moment to kick in. And when it does kick in, it's all go. By the time I got him in the road, he's on the other side. Yeah. Down. It was a, a decent bull. Yeah. Not so big antlers, but the size was decent. But yeah. As soon as I come here, by the time I come here, he was 
already halfway across the road. Let's wait. Now they it knows about us. The next thing it stopped. It's going to stop somewhere. As the tracker software shows, the moose crosses, but too far moose. in front of us. Too fast. I don't think I've ever seen you run like that, David. <laughs> now we can't move, that dog. Just as we get our breath back, same dog, same moose. Yarko has us in a spot where he thinks the moose will pass. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> what an adventure that was. Yeah. That was pretty fast and furious. Kai's finished bull moose is lying 20 meters from the shot. What a day, Kai. Huh? What a day. That was absolutely incredible. I mean, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank well you. Done. Thank you. I've never had a morning like that. No, absolutely not. That was an exciting morning, really exciting. All of a sudden, it all went pretty fast and furious, and uh, you probably hear my breathing. I was a little bit out of shape. But we saw this guy. We followed it round using the tracking system, and we got in position. And with the, with luck as well, he came within our path, and I had like a really small window through trees to to take him and. Uh, what an amazing experience. Incredible. Thank you very much, honestly. It's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Yuri. Only one shot. Only one shot. Okay, very good. Super. <laughs> I think, this, to be honest, the star of the show is Donna. Me and Dave were watching her work on the tracking system and in front of us, and what an incredible animal it really is. Hey. Amazing day. So, oh. tonight, Sona. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's some, uh, that's nice cold drink. Cold drink and food, and uh, enjoy company and uh, much, celebrate uh, this you, uh, you, this beautiful guy here. Thank so, thank you very much. I shot my first moose when I was 15. 15. Yeah. Wow. It was exactly the same, <laughs> like this. Just small like book. shaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and I will always remember that moment. What got me is you were saying to me and David that when you were we were all following the moose yeah. and you were dri you were driving in your in your yeah, car. Yeah, I had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking at the phone and thinking like, oh, you guys have to shoot it. It's so close. I and, <laughs> and then I saw that the dog stopped and started like barking crazy. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I was like, I was texting with the dog owner. 
and we were wondering if you if you guys got it. If you shot the moon. Yeah. So yeah. you had to stop your car because yeah, you were so nervous yourself. I was almost shaking, like I was so happy that you got the chance. It's been a huge effort by everyone to get the animal down. It's a huge animal yeah, and it's going to like, need just as much help to get it back field, to the larder and to clean it. Truck. First, we have some Finnish hunting and traditions and to enjoy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we, have a, we have a tradition here in Finland. Okay. Uh, man called Tapio is the god of the forest and wilderness. The guardian of the, of yeah. the forest. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's him on the front there. Yeah. Can we show? There. You can see there. That's not Yarko. That's Tapio. Well, I haven't even had any yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. <laughs> well, it does look a little bit similar. But anyway, carry on. Okay. So we, we kind of uh, honor him and take okay. one shot for the moose. Which to say he, thank you for... Yeah, which he has given the bull for us. That's really that's a really nice gesture. And uh, the first one who is taking is always the one who shot the moose. That would be me then. Yeah. Just a little swig of half a bottle. Uh, just a little swig <laughs> at this time. We still have some work to do. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. Oh, that's nice and warm. Thank you to Tapio. <laughs> A workout. <laughs> it's just normal now, isn't it? The extraction is neat and efficient but requires some <laughs> puff. Quite a bit of puff. <laughs> huh? Once or twice. Yarko sets up the trail cam to see what visitors we have to the Gralic. Back at base and the real work begins and another friend joins us. Evelina has been out bird hunting today with her Finnish spits and is another passionate hunter. With a tired workforce, Kai rustles up a quick bite using moose heart before a much needed sauna. So this is what I was doing last night, plunging myself into this freezing stream here. Invigorating experience, but something I probably won't do too often. I went in a man and come out a very small boy. <laughs> Thankfully, the sauna experience has not reduced all of Kai's mojo, and he's got all he needs to make a moose kebab lunch for the hunting party. It's a beautiful spot, and again, it's all hands on deck. And put some uh, seasoning on it that I've made. Handheld food, perfect out here in this lovely camp. So this is the loin of the, uh, the moose, so it'd be equivalent to obviously the sirloin of a cow. Do you know why it's called sirloin, David? No. Because it, I can't remember which king liked it so much, he knighted the loin of beef, so it's sirloin. What a great way to mark a successful adrenaline fueled hunt and great teamwork. Next time we swap barrels on the Zawa 404 and Kai has to get comfortable pointing a centrefire rifle at a target in the sky. To find out more about Zawa's range of rifles, go to zawa.de. For more information about the Blaza clothing Kai has been wearing, go to blaza.de. And to hunt moose with Yako and Matty, email info at wildernessvuokati.fi.